the, the Cosby Show going to be remembered? I mean, is it, was it really, you think, good for black America, or did it sort of set an unattainable standard for, for black Americans? The Cosby Show once again did something that you could probably only do in America, and that's show another slice of life from people who had been the so-called slaves who had made it and not made it, weren't struggling, had been there. It was very normal. They didn't, ex they, didn't, they didn't talk about how they got there. They sort of were just there. And that was very, very liberating for not only black America, but for white America, um, every, every culture. Celebrities, you know, seem, they just seem so screwed up on TV and you come out and hang out with them and, and everybody seems to be pretty normal. Most of us are just working stiffs in high profile jobs. Sometimes, we, sometimes we make it think. Sometimes we think, you know, we're smarter than we really are, or we know more than we know because so many people want to know our opinions. But after 14 years of knows, I don't think that. <laughs> I know I'm the same as every one of these people here. <laughs> Probably a little stupider. I don't know anything about everything, but you know what? I'm tired of people. I'm tired of not being able to have an opinion if you're if you're say a celebrity, and I'm also tired of. It's, it's been very, it's been a hard year and a hard couple of years for black entertainment. Man! Ooh. I don't, I never really pictured myself being a part of black entertainment, although I'm a black entertainer, but I worked in so many things that were sort of non-cultural, non-traditionalist. I never thought of myself as having to, to sort of keep the pace or anything like that. But then when I got into Living Single, especially, um, sort of so, suddenly I was considered on a black show as opposed to just a show. Oh, he's good. And it was very limiting and it was also very depressing because you thought, wow, I'm, I'm an actress. And I'm not saying that I suddenly want to play um, Jewish or anything, but I, I said I never felt so whole, held back. The guests we usually have, they're usually good at the sport. Well, you know, I'm also sure that people that usually go on these shows, the hosts have more dates. <laughs> oh. Now you get a lot of girlies right in you. Oh, Dr. Michael, yeah, come cure me. A lot of young girls, not too many of those, you know, really wild ones, though. Really? Not too many naked pictures, none. No, none. come on, no underwear, no naked pictures? No underwear, no naked pictures. Some little headshots like their graduation photos and stuff okay. like that, nice. Do you write them back? Nice girls. I respond to all my fan mail personally. Do you really? Yep. What's the wildest fan mail? Who's, who's written you the craziest things? So? Gosh, no one's written me really anything wild, honestly. Are you sure your wife hasn't have, just like taken them out of the mailbox? I have first? gotten about, probably by now, 70 or 80 um, letters from one, one girl. And you write her back? And she, at Thanksgiving, Easter, my birthday. Does that scare you a little bit? I mean, you know, no, you, you hear things, they're usually yeah. innocent enough. Yeah. I'm not that worried, though I am putting up a privacy gate around the new home. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the family, you know? You just don't want, in case, 